Hi, my name is Sally Elbert, and I have a great recovery story for you. I was uh, basically someone that was extremely broken and had a lot of problems with alcohol and drugs. I had my first drink when I was eight years old, and I pretty much did every drug before I hit 18 years old. I Back then, I didn't know where to go as far as a rehab or anything, and luckily, um, I finally um, was so broken that I made a commitment to go to Pasadena Recovery Center in 04, and it saved my life. I, I don't know how much more or longer I could have gone on. I was a young mother and a single mom, and I know that if I had not gone to Pasadena Recovery Center, I, I know that I would have had my son taken away from me. Luckily, I spent many years in recovery thanks to uh, going to them and going to their alumni program. Um, but I had some troubles. I had a really good friend uh, commit suicide. Uh, it was in 2012. And also, I had um, my son's father was in some sort of a relationship and I wasn't working the tools. And so I went to Pasadena Recovery Center back in 2012 and they took me with open arms. And I made a commitment, but not a complete commitment. So I was had about 18 months of sobriety, but I still was not ready to turn everything over. And I knew for me to turn everything over, that would be to take people that were toxic out of my life and to completely work the steps in the program. Um, also, another big thing for me was uh, I was very independent and I worked in the film business and I also knew that I had to go to sober living and I was too strong headed. Luckily, Pasadena Recovery Center, they never gave up on me. Um, I remember sometimes I would go in to visit them and they were always so sweet and nice to me. And finally, uh, I would say my best day, it was actually my worst day because it was right before my son's birthday and it was horrible. I had a really horrible relapse. This was July 3rd of 2015. I, I relapsed, I was going for about a week and luckily Pastor Rican Recovery Center, they um, came, they actually came and picked me up and took me in and it was at that point that I said, I want the obsession of drugs and alcohol to, to get out of my life for good. Um, I was completely broken. I have a also dual diagnosis of depression and uh, as well as the addiction to drugs and alcohol. So I made a full commitment and one of the full commitments was, well, I remember very important, one of my, my counselors said to me, what is your biggest fear? And my biggest fear was I didn't want to die and I didn't want to die alone. And with all the 5150s and all the times I've overdosed, I knew like, this is it, I have to make a full commitment. And I finally listened to every single thing they told me to do. I followed their plan completely. I gave my life over. I turned my life over to my higher power. Um, I am now very happy to say that I have uh, 20 months. I have a fantastic relationship with my son. I love you, Nicholas. I cannot tell you how much Pastor Recovery Center has always been for me in my struggle. They have been like the wings on my back. They have given me so much hope. I can always go there even just to say hello. Um, they have a fantastic alumni program and everything. I have great friends, even from the 10 years ago when I first walked into the doors. Uh, I finally now have a sponsor that I work all the steps with. I can get all the garbage out that was just holding on inside of me. I can truly be a, a mom. I work with a therapist also on some trauma issues that I had in the past when I was younger and uh, just going every day being sober, just knowing that um, I used to get stressed out. You know, one of the biggest thing was, how can I go the rest of my life without drugs and alcohol? And they used to say, just do today, just do today. And even today at 20 months, when I feel comfortable and strong, I just know that I have four or five things I always point out that I'm grateful for. And also, I do also say I'm sober and strong today. And I give a lot of credit to Pasadena Recovery Center for helping me.